Ahoy, mateys! Welcome back to Vote for Holt, where the channel poll for the next game to be played has just come in, and it is very clear that you all would like to see another blind Agatha Christie playthrough. So today, we are starting for the first time Agatha Christie, and then there were none. Now, again, to be clear, I have never played this game, I have never read the book, I don't know any of the characters, I don't know any of the twists, I don't know how it's going to end. But I have been told that it's a different ending from the book, if you have read the book, though that doesn't really mean anything to me. Otherwise, I can't think of anything much more to say. Thanks so much for sticking around, guys, because I had a lot of fun with Murdy on the Orient Express, so I'm totally down to jump right into this one, because it looks like a very similar game, fundamentally. I believe it came out before Murder on the Orient Express, but by a slim margin, maybe by a year. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and get into it. Well, we have our train car. <laughs> so far, it is a quite a similar game. I hope my son's antics don't disturb you. Madam, were it in my power to sentence him to 30 days hard labor, they would not disturb me in the slightest. <laughs> Smashing day for it. Okay, that's Daphne from Scooby-Doo. That is actually just Daphne from Scooby-Doo. No, oh, Leslie. Uh, it isn't true. Oh, oh big pardon, ma'am. Miss. Yes, of course, yes. Have to be, wouldn't it? Hey, that looks like an American sign. American road sign. Are we driving on the right side of the road? No, we're not. Damn. So close. <laughs> Look at this dude. Damn fool. I suppose I'll be expected to tend to his wounds after he piles up, but I don't fear that. fellow over here got some car trouble, it would seem. Is he gonna put out his foot and trip him? <laughs> no one injured, at least. No apparent damage to the car. Wait, 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 wait a second. They traded the hands, didn't they? They totally traded hands there. One gave something to the other. Shit, I wish I could rewind that, but I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. I wasn't paying that's attention. Not. Oh, we've got names My there. Money's on the servants. The servants usually always the guilty one in the end. <laughs> Murder by death. Stickle. Welcome to Sticklehaven, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Davis, the harbor master. Sorry. Waiting for me. That's everyone, then. The other bags are already on board the boat there. Blimey. It must be him. In the flesh. All set, Nerakot. Ready, sir. Right. I'll leave it to you, then. Seas calm. Should be a pleasant crossing. If you leave now. There's a squall coming. I can smell it. We're going off to an island? Yes! There's a court shipwreck island. Well, the weather can turn nasty quickly. There are many submerged rocks, lots of wrecks hereabouts. And that big rock at the tip is said to resemble a beached schooner. The locals I can't tell if this guy... Rock. Is from You're not from around these England, parts, then? the Midwest, or Texas? No, sir, I'm not. Oh, wait, I think they just said where he was from, but I talked over it. Damn. <laughs> I think he said not from America. It'll never work. If you would be so good as to follow that path up to the house, my wife will show you to your rooms. I expect you'd all like to freshen up after your journey. 
Where's Fred? Under the weather. I took his place. You'd be the brother then. I see the resemblance. Will you help me with the bags? Yes. I've been hoping to get a look at the house. Chapter 1. Ten little sailor boys went out to dine. One choked his little self, and then there were nine. Bro, what? <laughs> Wait, Thank whose you voice is that? for your assistance, Mr. Narakot. Everything and everyone nicely in place. I must say, I don't much like these clouds. I expect you should be heading back without delay. Mr. Narakot? Is that us? Now it begins. Don't worry, Fred. I won't let you down. Wait a second, we're the guy who organized this, right? Yeah, just a drizzle. It's going to get much worse. That's interesting. Uh, I didn't- I expected this. I didn't think we were being introduced to the player character yet. Okay, this is some really interesting music. It's, um... It's nice and gloomy. I should return to my boat to retrieve some supplies before I begin any real investigating. What is this supposed to be? It kind of feels like... I don't, I don't know the plot at all yet, but it feels like the the haunting movie, or was it ha House on Haunted Hill? I always forget where it's, um, all these strangers are offered like a million dollars to stay in a haunted house overnight. Oh shit, dude, your boat, it's vertical. Damn thing's wrecked. No chance of returning to the mainland now. Yeah, that's um suboptimal. <sighs> the sea looks daunting. Wouldn't want to be caught out there without a good motor. So I take it that we are wealthy in some capacity if we come here often to an island called Shipwreck Island. Real quick, I'm going to check the settings to make sure that I have everything. Oh wait, this isn't the settings. What is this? General, guests, docs, and books. Okay, it's like a simplified version of the inventory from last game. Oh, and then this one's our inventory. Okay, so that's right-click. Okay. And we still have the combine and examine features. Alright, well, at least I'll be able to catch on to those faster than I last time. I should tell Rogers about my little boat misfortune. Yeah, this guy should probably know about that, because... Was that boat the only way we all got on the island? Mr. Narakot, why are you still on the island? Someone scuttled my boat. <laughs> scuttled? Wrecked, you mean? But who on earth would do such a thing? I intend to find out. Maybe the but ocean. that means who will come for us on Monday? Unless this storm lets up, no one. Dear me, dear me. Come in, come in. You'll catch your death out here. Well, shit. I must help my wife prepare dinner. I'll have her fix you up something in the kitchen. Thank okay, you. so does this guy own the house? I thought he was a butler. Where he's going to sleep, I'll never know. Ethel won't like this one bit. So we're not supposed to be here. We were... Oh, wait, are we just the boat driver? That is interesting, then, if we're not supposed to be here, but our boat got wrecked. Let's start prowling around. Stole a walking stick. Let's have a quick look at that. Walking stick with a bear's head handle. I can't see anything of interest. Nothing, no. Okay. Pretty cool. Fresh flowers. Quite pretty. We, um... It's an I don't know. I can't say I'm particularly fond of the painting. The subject matter doesn't interest me. You cannot see that painting from over here. That's... It's way too far away, dude. Okay, I still don't even know our player character's name yet. He's no Annie yet, but... He's interesting. A fine chap. Your shot, Judge. Yes. You haven't left me much, I confess. I knew okay, judges so he's a judge. listened to confessions. I never knew they made them as well. Oh, some judges may have cause. Some doctors as well, I expect. So this guy's a doctor then, I'm guessing? We have a judge and a doctor? Alright, let's get acquainted. May I ask you a question? Not now, man. Can't you see we're busy? Okay, no katayables, no, no special tiles for me to go find? Not that I'd want to play, even if there was time. I've no talent for the game whatsoever. Maybe we're gonna have billiards and scram uh, puzzles in this game. Warnings that Waverly will prepare me well it's for them. It's tightly locked. Okay. 
Um, let's see, is the kitchen over here? Do we have an objective written down somewhere? Island? Okay, we have some things. Thomas Rogers, Henry Blor, or Blore, I don't know. And Anthony Marston. Marston! Ooh! I wonder if there's a relation to a certain John that I know. The door is locked. An upstairs, downstairs type of thing, I imagine. Another painting of paintings. birds. Birds don't appeal to me, but someone here certainly fancies them. Alright, that's definitely going to refer to a puzzle later. I'll keep that in mind. Okay, I'm honestly really excited to play this game because after the last one, you know, there are parts of it that were a little bit bumpy because, you know, hitboxes can be tricky in these games and sometimes I don't understand exactly how they work. But now that I feel like I've got a gist of the developers, I feel like I can really have a good time with this one. So I'm going to go for as few hints as possible and just see if I can work my way through it blind. Three doors. Let's check the one to the farthest right. It's locked fast. Okay, they're all going to be locked, aren't they? Locked. Yeah. I half expected this. Okay, no, that one was open. Oh, but it's just the shitter. Okay. Uh, toilet. And... Hang on. Is that bar of soap different colors in the reflection of... Maybe it's just the way the light hits it. That's funny. Uh, it's tightly locked. Two connecting rooms, though. This one opens. Hey, we found somebody's room. It would certainly be noticed if I rifled through his luggage. I better not. Okay, but whose room is it? Nothing out of order in here. I'd best not take anything, though. I'm must sure be he the, would notice. Must be the doctor's room, then. I'd best not take that. Okay, so He take might nothing. need it and would certainly notice its absence. You know something? I don't think you can skip dialogue in this game, so... I don't plan to skip much dialogue, but every now and again people will repeat things, so let's hope that that doesn't bite us in the ass. Pick something up. Armstrong's letter of invitation. Okay, so there's Armstrong the guy I copied the who... contents into my notebook. Is Armstrong the guy who runs this place? Ducks. Okay, I'll give this a quick read. Dear Dr. Armstrong, you come highly recommended to me by your esteemed colleague, Dr. William Weathersby of Harley Street. Okay, so Armstrong is the doctor's name. I was wrong. I have a great favor to ask. My wife's health has been... My wife's health appears to be deteriorating. She has for many years now been plagued by arthritis of a very severe sort. And more recently, I have observed short bouts of uncontrollable muscle spasms. I am unable to explain yet. She won't hear of seeing a doctor. I was very ho much hoping you could join a little weekend house party we have planned for August the 8th at our home on Shiprock Island in South Devon. A boat will call for you at Sticklehaven to ferry you the short distance to our little hideaway. Please accept the enclosed check of 200 pounds as a small initial retainer. I know you will be able to help her. I promise you your efforts will not go unrewarded. Sincerely, UN Owen. Okay, so Owen is the man we met at the beginning then, I assume. And Dr. Armstrong is the doctor. And he has a nice balcony attached to this room. I can't open it. It's locked. Pity. Okay. Let's, um... A radiator. You can't have enough of them, really. I just realized I still don't know what year this game takes place. It definitely looks like it's 50s or so. It's, it's much further on than the last game was. Okay. Let's find people. There's probably, like, some grand opening cutscene I'm not finding. Narakot? I thought you'd be long gone by now. That storm's getting pretty fierce. Somebody scuttled my boat. I saw Blore watching you like a hawk eyes its dinner. Could it have been him? Possibly. Blore. Any idea why? I'd rather not say. Suit yourself. I'd better get ready for dinner. Okay, so we're getting ready for dinner. Uh, I noticed I can click on the keyhole here. What's that about? Oh, we get to spy on people. Nice. He's got a pistol. <laughs> and no trigger discipline whatsoever. Okay. Look at that. Big old 357. Smith & Wesson. Watch out. Can I do that for everybody's room? Because that was pretty cool, actually. I like that mechanic. Oh, Mr. Narcot. I thought Daphne. that you left us. Someone scuttled my boat. Oh, but that's dreadful. Surely the harbour master will send another boat when you're missed. Not in this storm, I'm afraid. And even then, it won't be reported. Why ever not? My brother. 
He knew I might not be immediately back. I'm terribly Shit. sorry for your trouble. The Owens should be arriving shortly. I'm sure you can get a ride back in that boat. Oh, the Owens if aren't even here me, yet? I must get ready for dinner. Okay, if you'd excuse me, I must get ready for dinner. Everyone's getting ready for dinner, it would seem. So, basically, there's this fancy house party going on, is what it looks like. And I'm sure, you know, sinister shit's gonna happen eventually. But we're completely underdressed, and we have no luggage, because we were just supposed to be the fairy man. <laughs> it's kind of fucking funny, actually. <laughs> yes? Oh, Mr. Narricott, I had a question for you. Uh, have you heard anything in Sticklehaven about this house being set up as a guest house? No, Miss Brent. No, Miss Brent. Mrs. Rogers hasn't either. And who are the Owens? I haven't met them yet. Uh, would it surprise you to learn neither have Mr. and Mrs. Rogers? It's odd. Very odd. If you'll excuse me, Mr. Narricott, I must make dinner preparations. So nobody's met the host of the party that they've all come to stay to overnight. I mean, Dr. Armstrong was paid to be here, but why would everyone else come to some house they've never known the owners of? My wife is indisposed, uh, not receiving visitors today. Your wife, sir? What? Your wife? My wife, yes. Leslie. I'm sorry, my boy. I was wool gathering. What? Miles away. My apologies. <coughs> Must dress for dinner now. Send my orderly to me, if you will. I... No, 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 that's not right. What was I thinking? I must get ready for dinner now. That guy seems to be uh, getting on in years, then. Do we, do we have more names written down as we go? No, we just have a couple. Anthony Marston, young, reckless fool. Lucky there aren't any roads on the island. Oh, he must be the, the dude who's driving fast, then. Okay, well, that guy... Part of me wants to say immediately I'm calling bullshit on his dementia act because I feel like the game wouldn't just make a character with dementia for no reason. It's tightly locked. Okay. Let's go see if we can find this kitchen and maybe prompt the dinner. Um, but yeah. That fella there, old codger, seems to have a couple screws loose. Was this door locked? The door is locked. An upstairs-downstairs type of thing, I imagine. Well, I mean, I imagine dinner is being served on the first floor. Were there doors over this way? Yeah. Oh, we found the dining room. But there's nobody in it yet. A place for everything, and everything in its place. This is nice. I like how the game's not flooding our inventory with items. And instead it's just letting us explore before, you know, any mystery begins. It's the honeymoon period of the game. <laughs> Flashlight. Without batteries, of course. Okay. There's only one drawer we could look at. So if we've got flashlights, then... Haha! <laughs> Ten little sailor boys, look at that. Ten little sailor boys. Charming. I think I understand where the title came from now. Or the chapter title. Let's see. Good looking cake they have. A place for everything and everything in its place. Okay. Uh, let's try this door. It's It'll good. It'll never work, I tell you. We should never have agreed. A house party only a week after we arrive? And no other help? Ethel, calm yourself. You promised me. Never again, you said. How was I to know? Oh, ah, Mr. Narricott. Uh, Ethel will be preparing you a meal in here, once the guests are served. Oh, so we don't get to eat with everyone else. Okay, I'm not sure what they were talking about, but it sounds like they weren't actually very keen on hosting this party and somebody pressured them into it. It's a sturdy cast-iron stove. So this is where we get to eat? At the kids' table? Ooh. Uh, what was that, a little fruit bowl? Fruit basket made of copper wire. Copper wiring! I know what that means. We're gonna have a circuitry puzzle. Okay. The refrigerator hardly seems large enough for a house of this size. More copper detected. Give me all the copper. Copper pots. Just as I'd expect. <laughs> we'll probably come back for this later. What's this old... Oh, it's for churning butter. It's a press. Looks like it can hold quite a large amount of fruit. Maybe to make orange juice to power a ham radio. What's in here? Is this the cupboard? No need to call unnecessary attention to my snooping. 
Okay, but there is a turkey baster that I will be taking. Yep, knew it. And actually, there's a couple of things in here we're taking. What was that last thing? Cheese wheel covered in cheesecloth. Literally would have never guessed that. I can't see anything of interest. Yeah, I wouldn't either. It's a cheese wheel. At least tell me what kind of cheese it is, though, man. It's a sturdy cast iron stove. Hmm. Okay, looks like we're in a back hall of sorts now. Uh, another staircase leading up. And uh, maybe guest bedroom? It's two beds. This will probably be where we end up staying. What's this over here? Letter for Rogers. I copied the contents into my notebook. Alright, let's give this a quick read. I'm not sure I remember which one is Rogers yet. Rogers. Mrs. Owen and I will be detained in London this evening. Okay, so he's probably the guy who met us at the door. Please do the best you can in, in our absence. My good lady tells me she wanted the roast for dinner with potatoes and vegetables and the treacle tart for her dessert. I don't know how to pronounce that, sorry. You'll find everything you need in the pantry, then serve drinks afterwards in the front parlor. You already have the gramophone record. Please play the side labeled Hello once everyone is comfortably settled in the parlor. We'll be along as soon as possible. Ulrich Norman Owen. Okay, so that's the man in charge of the party. The U.N. Owen. And another note over here. Roger's letter of invitation. I copied the contents into my notebook. Okay, so now let's find out why this guy came. Rogers, Mrs. Owen and I will be giving a little house party this weekend. Only eight guests. I'm sure you'll manage. The larder is well stocked, and the crowding and the crowd shouldn't give too much trouble. We'll arrive early Friday so that Mrs. Owen can drop a suitable menu. Hang on to the accompanying package for me. It's a gramophone record. I'll want it to play be played for my guests. Okay. Uh, interesting. I'm uh, I'm getting some Scooby Doo vibes from this. Played the gramophone for my guests. What's that? Small packet of sewing needles. Okay. Yeah, this is like uh, the episode where Scooby Doo is invited to. He's written to some dude's will. <laughs> that was a good episode. Uh, private bathroom here. Anything of interest? Doesn't look like it. Maybe we'll do something there later. It's I'm a assuming this of a flower. Looks like a water lily. Okay, well it's not a bird painting again. I'm assuming this is going to be a murder mystery, but if that's the case, I don't know how to cast my bets on who's going to be murdered first. Maybe the old guy. That would kind of make sense. Oh, it was that door. I guess it didn't open from the other side. Okay, and the last thing I can think of to do is there's a door over here, right? Oh, it's an open way. Is this the foyer of the house? Definitely enjoying the thunderstorm outside. <laughs> Let's see. Is this a ham radio? It's got power. But it still doesn't seem to be working. I think it is, yeah. Can't escape those in these games. Uh, we have a nice little liquor I table. I shouldn't do that. I need to have my wits about me. Yeah, that's true. I don't probably. need to lug this around with me. Okay. We can't take the glasses, though. And the mixer. Drink glass, oversized cocktail shaker. All right. Just building our collection, piece by piece. Okay, what's through here? Oh, it's the pool room. Why are all the balls the same color? <laughs> Did the game not load right? <laughs> That's kind of funny. Can I talk May to the I judge? May I interrupt for a moment? I can't talk and play, Mr. Naracott. Right now, I prefer to play. Okie dokie. Judge is not feeling very talkative. Locked. 
Well, it seems like this game is going to have less suspects than the last one, so maybe I'll have a better point of accuracy when it comes to predicting the culprit. I can't open it. It's locked. Everything's locked, isn't it? Okay. Trying to figure out my objective. If I were suddenly an additional guest stowaway onto a fancy house party, what would I be doing? I wonder if this house has a library. It seems like it would. Now I want to find it. Let's go back upstairs and make sure we talk to everybody. Oh, you know what? Maybe we need to spy on other people through the keyhole. I only did that for the one. No, that was an empty room, I think. Yeah, let's have a look. Confidential, what are we going to see? Oh, probably a picture of his wife. Well, that's sad. And how about this one? Okay, maybe not that one. Might have not been anybody in there. Nothing to s Oh, it's because they're women, right? <laughs> We're not going to just start spying on women through keyholes or else they'll throw us out into the ocean. Understandably. Okay. Um, trying to think of what else I might need. Shaving. Please excuse me. Shaving. Please give me a few moments to myself. Oh, but I need so much attention. I'm so bored. <laughs> Not now, please. I'm preparing for dinner. Everyone's preparing for dinner. Okay. I left orders not to be disturbed. It's tightly locked. That one was open. I can't open it. It's locked. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe we can go chat with the cook and his wife. Or the cook and her husband. I'm not sure who's who. Were there any other rooms attached to this dining hall? I suppose not. Okay, let's see what he has to say. Mr. Rogers, I was wondering if I might have a word. Perhaps you'd find one of the guests with more free time to chat. None of them are doing any work. Oh, but they're also busy shaving and being self-pretentious assholes. No one wants to talk to me. Where'd your wife go? To go out in that storm now would be reckless and foolhardy. Okay, so there is an outside door, though. A whole bunch of sugar. I don't need it. And I'm no pack rat. <laughs> the larder is very well stocked. Maybe that's a clue, but I can't figure out why or how. Ample larder. Copper pots, just as I'd expect. It's a rather ostentatious painting. A rather ostentatious painting, yes, quite so. I wonder how we're going to learn more about our own character. Because he's still a man of mystery, by and large. Okay, you know what? There was a, a standing staircase in the back room, wasn't there? And we did not go up it. Okay. Back here. This staircase. What's up here? Oh, the missus. Would you just look at all these silk sheets? All embroidered GS. I'll bet that was that actress who used to live here. I'll drop them on this filthy floor. <laughs> That's funny. Can I give you a hand, Mrs. Rogers? Thank you, Mr. Narracott. You seem like a good sort. I'm sorry for your boat. She's the one with arthritis, isn't she? Or maybe I'm wrong. I might be totally wrong. What's this lone door at the end of the hall? Oh, it's at least the back hall. Is that how it works? I reckon so. 
Was there nothing else over here? Just another ostentatious painting? Alright, um... Might be premature of me to say, but I'm assuming it's gonna be dinner time soon. 